These fondant potatoes, oh my gosh, they are so tasty. And they're infused with the flavors of thyme and garlic. And they're actually easier to make than you might think. I'm gonna show you how. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. If you're bored of the same old potato dish and want to try something new, or if you want to make something a little bit fancy for that dinner party, then these fondant potatoes are for you. We're going to start by preheating the oven to 200C or 400F. I'm using Maris Piper potatoes for this recipe, and these are a floury variety of potato which really absorbs the flavour and makes a lovely fluffy interior. But you can use King Edwards, Rooster or Russet potatoes. And I'm going to be serving it for four people. So for four people we want to get about two fondant potatoes each, and you can probably get one fondant potato out of a potato this size, and about two out of something this size. We want to peel those potatoes and cut them into two inch thick cylinders. Slice off the ends of the potato so it's nice and flat. You want quite a large surface area at either end of the potato. Now don't worry about these bits that are left over from the ends of the potatoes. You can always use them for mash or add to a soup. And if you want to go a little bit chefy here, you can cut these potatoes into perfect cylinders, but I don't think that's really necessary. I quite like them to be a little bit rustic. Now heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil in an oven-proof frying pan on a high heat until hot. Carefully place the potatoes in the pan, flat side down, and cook for five to six minutes until golden brown. You may need to move them around a little bit in the pan just to stop them from sticking. Now turn the potatoes over, reduce the heat to medium high and cook for a further five to six minutes until golden brown. This is gonna give those fondant potatoes that distinctive crispy top and bottom. Now carefully add three tablespoons of unsalted butter, two cloves of garlic that have been peeled and sliced in half and two sprigs of fresh thyme to the pan and let the butter melt in the pan. Stir the garlic and the thyme with the butter to infuse the flavours, then baste the potatoes with the butter. Now we want to remove that garlic so it doesn't burn. and pour in 240 ml or a cup of strong hot chicken stock around the potatoes. Be careful when you're doing this because it does bubble quite a lot. Sprinkle the tops of the potatoes with a little salt and pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon of each, and then place in the oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, check the potatoes are tender by inserting a sharp knife in the middle. It should slide in nice and easily. If it doesn't, then place them back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Once tender, serve topped with sprigs of fresh thyme. And there you go. That's how to make delicious and impressive fondant potatoes. Why not give them a try? Really hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of new recipe videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time. Bye.